Hi friends, welcome to the lecture of advanced discrete mathematics. In last lecture, we have seen what is a posits and examples of posits. Okay. After that, we have seen in last lecture what is a Hasse diagram. That is how to construct a Hasse diagram of a given partial order relation. Now we have to see some special elements in posits. For any element, then we say that the corresponding element is a maximal element of a given posit. Similarly, similarly, an element B in P, B in P is called minimal element, is called minimal element. If x precedes b for no x in p, that is, there is no element belonging to posit p for which x precedes b, then we say that this b is a minimal element, that is, b precedes x for all x belonging to p. x precedes b for no x in p is nothing but b precedes x for all x, for all x in p. Now, an element and element A in a poset P is called is called greatest element. Okay. Greatest element in P or greatest element of P if x precedes a for all x in p that is suppose p which this relation is a poset then any element a in a poset p is called the greatest element if x precedes a for all x belonging to p that is for example you suppose less equal is a given relation then an element a in a poset p is called a and element A in the posit P is called a greatest element if X is less equal than A for all X belonging to P then A is a greatest element and a greatest element greatest element if it exists then it is unique if it exists then it is unique then there is a possibility of non existence of such a greatest element. There are some posets in which there is a no greatest element. Okay. Now, similarly, an element, sorry, that here a greatest element, if it exists, then it is unique. If possible, suppose that there are two greatest elements, let A and A dash be two greatest elements. A and A dash be two greatest elements. And we know that what is the greatest element? An element in a posit P is called greatest element if every element of P precedes that particular element. As A and A dash are two greatest element, then 
as suppose first suppose a is the greatest element as a is the greatest element and a dash is also a member of that quotient then a dash precedes a since a is the greatest element so a precedes a dash now in second condition let us assume that a dash is the greatest element and as a dash is the greatest element then this a precedes a, sorry as a is the greatest element then a dash precedes this a and a dash is the greatest element then a, a precedes this a dash but we know that quotient is nothing but it is a reflexive transitive transitive and anticipatory then by transitive property a dash precedes a and a precedes a dash then a and a dash are nothing but same which implies a equal to a dash so here we have assumed that the quotient p has two greatest element but here a is nothing but a dash so from this we conclude that the greatest element if it exists then it is unique okay now the greatest element of a quotient the greatest element of a quotient when a quotient if it exists if it exists then it is comparable with then it is comparable with comparable with all the elements of the quotient with all the elements of p elements of quotient p if suppose a greatest element is exists in a quotient then it is comparable with all the elements of a given quotient that is two elements are said to be comparable if either a precedes b or b precedes a then the a b are comparable elements belonging to that quotient now similarly we have to say we have to see for the least element an element an element b in a quotient p b in p is called list element list element if b precedes y yes, for all s belonging to quotient p and a minimum uh, sorry a list element if it exists then it is unique if it exists then it is unique then it is unique okay now we have to see how to find out the maximum element and minimum element from a set diagram maximum and minimum elements are maximum and minimum elements one elements are easy to spot using a set diagram a set Diagram. Maximum and minimum elements are that is they are they are the top and bottom elements top and bottom elements in the diagram. That is if suppose we have given any Hasse diagram. Then how to find out its maximal and minimal element? The bottom element is nothing but the minimal element, and the top element is nothing but the maximal element. Okay. The maximal element. The maximal element have no connections. Have no connections. Connections. Leading up, leading up. That is, if suppose this one is the given Hasse diagram, there is element A, B, C, and D. Now from this Hasse diagram, element A is the minimal element and element D is the maximal element. 
and this statement says that the maximal element B has no connections leading up. Since this one is the only Hasse diagram, therefore here as B is the maximal element, then this B has a no connections leading up, and the minimal element A has no connections leading down. The minimal element has a connections leading up, and the maximal element has a connections leading down. Okay, leading up and minimal element has. Minimal element has no connections leading down. Leading down. Now, this is for a maximal and greatest element. Maximal and minimal element. But for the greatest element, the greatest element, greatest element. Is connected to connected to every other element, every other element by a path by a path leading down, leading down, and. A minimal, sorry, a least element, least element is connected to connected to every other element, every other element by a path by a path leading up. As from the definition of least and greatest element, this A is nothing but the least element. As A is the least element, then from this statement, this A is connected to every element of a given coset with leading by path with leading up, uh, and B is connected to every other element by path leading down. D is connected to C, B, and there is a path from D to C and C to A. Therefore, D is connected to every element of a given coset. Okay, now the following points, the following points are to be noted. Points are to be noted. Okay, first one. The coset may not have a maximum limit. May not have a maximal or minimal element. Okay. Now let us take a set of natural numbers with less equal relation. This coset, this one is the coset. Now, as it is a coset, but this coset have no maximal element. Any element of a coset is said to be maximal element if a precedes x for no x in p. But here there is no such a element since n less equal has a no maximal element. Okay. Now second one. A coset may have more than one maximal and minimal elements. Maximal. And minimal elements. A. Now let us take A as a coset which contains element 2, 3, 4, 6 with relation division. So this one is the coset. As this one is the coset, then it has two maximal elements. Let us draw its Hasse diagram. Here is 2 and 3. Now how to draw a Hasse diagram? As this one is the coset, now we have to first select the list element belonging to that set. As 2 and 3 are this element, and after that, 6 is the element which 6 is the immediate successor of 2 and 3. Then here is 6, then we have to join this element. Here is 6. After that, 4 is the immediate successor of an element 2. Then we have to draw a line from 
two to four. Now, from this diagram, the given quotient have four and six are the maximal elements. So here, four and six are maximal elements, and two and three and two and three are minimal elements. Therefore, from this we can prove that a quotient may have a more than one maximal and minimal. Okay, now third one is In previous example, that is in two C, two B, four C, which division? This one is the quotient. Here, four and C are the maximal element, but they are not the greatest element. See, it is from definition of greatest element. Any elements A belonging to quotient P is said to be a greatest element if X precedes A. For all x belonging to P, whatever will be the relation. As here division is a relation, then x divides A for all x belonging to P. So, if suppose we have to say four is a four is a greatest element, but three does not divide four. As three does not divide four, then four is not a greatest element. Now we take that whether six is a greatest element. As here two and three divide six, but four does not divide. Six. Therefore, six is also not a maximal element. Therefore, there are some quotient which have maximal and minimal element, but they may not have a least and greatest element. Okay. Fourth one. A quotient may have a maximal element. A maximal. Maximal element, element, but not a minimal element. Minimal element, or it has a minimal element. Minimal element, but not a maximal. Element. It is also possible. Let us take some examples. First, one. let set of negative integers with less equal relation. This one is again a quotient since set of integers with less equal relation is a quotient, and we know that subset of quotient is again a quotient. Therefore, set of negative integers with less equal is a quotient. But now, this quotient, this quotient. Has a maximal element minus one. Has maximal element minus one, but it has no minimal element. Since there is no element belonging to z minus, for that x precedes that b for no x in for no x in z minus. That one is the definition of minimal element. Such element is not possible in z minus. Therefore, it has no minimal element. But the quotient z plus z plus with less equal relation. Sorry, z plus with less equal relation has a minimal element one. It has a minimal element one, but it has no maximal element. Now, fifty properties. In the totally ordered set, in totally ordered set, totally 
order set. This set is said to be totally ordered if every two elements belonging to that set are compatible. Totally ordered set. The concept. The concept. List element. Greatest element, greatest element, coexists. Okay. Similarly, the maximum and sorry, this element and minimal element. Similarly, the maximum and greatest element. That is, if given set is a totally ordered set, then the least element is nothing but the minimal element and the greatest element is nothing but the maximum element and vice versa. Okay. Now let us see some examples depending on these points. First one is example. Lay set yes, which contains three elements A, B, and C. Then power set of yes with inclusion relation. Inclusion relation is a two set. Okay. Now first condition in that lay capital A B C. Which contains elements five, single term B, single term C, and single term E. These are the elements belonging to A. Now let us see whether this A is a coset, and any set is said to be a coset if there exists one relation which is a partial order on that set. Partial order we have to see whether it is a reflexive. Now. A is a subset of A itself. Then it is reflective. That is, A is subset of itself. Then it is reflective. That is, any element of A belonging to this set is again a subset of itself. Therefore, it is reflective. It is true for all the sets. Second one is whether it is a uh, anti-symmetric. That is, suppose if we take B is a subset of C and C is a subset of B, then B and C must be equal. Okay. And third one is a transitive. As A holds all the properties, therefore. This inclusion is a partial partial order relation on that set A. Therefore, this A is a coset. So, A with inclusion relation is a coset. Now we have to find out the greatest and least element belonging to this coset. Here, high is a least element. We know that any element is said to be a least element if it is solved. A is if suppose we have to see B is a least element. Then B precedes yes for all is belonging to. Coset P. As given relation is an inclusion relation, then this is nothing but the inclusion relation, and this element P is nothing but phi. Here, phi is a subset of every element A, where A belonging to power. Sorry, A is a subset of some B. Since this B is belonging to this set A, therefore, as phi is a subset of every element, that is phi is comparable with every element belonging to set A. Then therefore, phi is a Least element, but this set has no greatest element. Here, phi is least element, and it has no greatest element. Has no greatest element. Since B is not a subset of A, C, therefore we can't say that this is the greatest element. Now, second example. Let B is equal to phi single term A, single term B, single term A, double term A B. Now we have to see this one is a coset or not? As It contains elements phi A B and A B. Therefore, it satisfies all the three properties that is reflexivity, uh, and symmetricity, and transitivity. Therefore, this B is a coset. Then B with inclusion relation is a coset, 
and in this process phi is a subset of every other set then this phi is a list element here phi is a list element and all the three elements are subsets of ab therefore from the definition of greatest element this ab is the greatest element and double term ab is the greatest element okay now second example is find the least and greatest element find the least and greatest element greatest elements in the process z plus with division if they exist if the greatest elements are and least elements are exist then we have to find out in the process z plus with division relation now what is the element which belong to z plus z plus is nothing but that it is a set of positive integers okay as one is belonging to z plus and one divides every n where n is belonging to z plus as one is related to every element and then from the definition of this element one is the least element one is the least element okay now there is no element belonging to set of positive integers which is divisible by all the integers such a integer is not possible therefore there is no greatest element in z plus there is no greatest element why since there is no element belonging to set of positive integers which is divisible by every positive integer now Now these are the three Hasse diagrams. Now we have to find out its least element, greatest element, minimal element, and maximal elements by these three Hasse diagrams. For first one, now first one is the Hasse diagram. Now from this diagram, 
its maximal element is nothing but one since in hasse diagram the bottom element is nothing but one so sorry that is a minimal element bottom element is nothing but the minimal element and top element is nothing but the maximal element therefore one and 27 are the maximal sorry minimal and maximal elements minimal and maximal elements okay now we know that a maximal element is nothing but a greatest element if it is comparable with all the remaining elements as this one is the totally ordered set that is the the quotient which is obtained from this hasse diagram is a totally ordered set since here each element is comparable with another element therefore this one is a chain as it is a chain then its the greatest element is nothing but its maximal element and its least element is nothing but its minimal element so as it is a totally ordered set totally ordered set then one and 27 are the least and greatest elements okay now second one here uh, as 2 and 3 are the bottom elements then 2 and 3 are the minimal elements and 12 and 18 are the top elements then 12 and 18 are the maximal elements here 2 and 3 are the max sorry minimal elements minimal elements and 12 and 18 are the maximal elements but as elements 2 and 3 are not comparable they this one has a no list element similarly the elements 12 and 18 are not comparable therefore it has no greatest element it has no list and greatest element now in this a is a bottom element then it is a minimal element f is the top element then it is a greatest uh, sorry it is a minimal element then it is a maximal element and by transitivity each element belonging to this coset is comparable as every element belonging to say coset is a comparable then it is a totally ordered set as it is a totally ordered set then its maximal element is nothing uh, sorry its maximal element is nothing but its greatest element and its minimal element is nothing but the it its least element so as it is totally ordered set totally ordered set that is chain then the maximal and minimal element sorry maximal and greatest element is yes element is yes and the minimal and least element is a minimal and least element is a. so in this way we can find out the least element maximal element greatest element and minimal element from a hasse diagram also okay now we have to see what is a well ordered set Every non-empty subset, every 
नॉन एंटिटी सबसे ऑफ से बी हैज ए रिसेल एवरी नॉन एंटिटी सबसे ऑफ ए पोसेट का ऑफ ए सेट बी हैज अ लिस्ट एलिमेंट देन वी से दैट दिस रिलेशन इज दैट इज गिवन सेट इज अ वेल ऑर्डर्ड सेट that is if we have to take any arbitrary set and we say this set a is well ordered if its every non empty subset has a list exam list element for example let us suppose set of natural numbers with less equal relation now this one is a coset we know that let us take this one as a arbitrary any arbitrary set but if we take either we have to define a relation on it or not there is no condition on Relation defined on n in a definition of well-ordered subset. Let us suppose a n is a set of natural numbers. Now we have to check whether this n is a total well-ordered set or not. According to this well-ordered set, definition of well-ordered set, this set is said to be well-ordered if its every non-empty subset has a least element. But for a set of natural numbers, if we take any subset of set of natural number, then this is a, then this subset has always a list element. As every subset of set of natural number has a list element, then this n is said to be a well-ordered set according to definition of well-ordered set. So n is well-ordered. Instead of natural numbers, if we take set of integers, that is. Set of integers. Now I have to check whether set of integers is a well-ordered set or not. But this set of integers has one subset that is set of negative integers, which is a subset of set of integers which have no list element. Since set of negative integers have no no list element, therefore this set of integers have integers have one subset which has no list element. Then by definition of well-ordered set. This set of integers is not a totally ordered. Uh, sorry, well ordered set is not a well ordered set. Okay. Now we have to see what are the upper and lower bounds. A is a upper bond 
अपर बाउंड ऑफ बी एंड इफ सपोज ए डैश इज एनी अपर बाउंड ऑफ बी देन दिस ए प्रीसीड्स दिस ए डैश फॉर एनी अपर बाउंड अपर बाउंड of any upper bound a dash of b that is if we find out the collection of upper bounds of the set b then we have to take list list one belonging to that okay now similarly an element b belonging to a is said to be ग्रेटेस्ट लोअर वॉन ग्रेटेस्ट लोअर वॉन ऑफ बी इज फर्स्ट वन बी इज लोअर वॉन ऑफ बी लोअर वॉन ऑफ बी एंड सेकेंड वन इज B dash precedes this B for any lower bound B dash of B for any lower bound B dash of B. The least upper bound is also called as the least upper bound is also called as supremum of B. Called as supremum supremum. Of B, that means if suppose A is a this upper bound of B, then this A is nothing but supremum of B, and the least, the, sorry, the greatest lower bound is also called as a infimum of infimum of B, and B is the least, sorry, B is the greatest lower bound, then this B is nothing but infimum of this set. Okay. Now there are some points. The following points are to be noted. Is greatest limit 
we can only see the stage belonging to the reason. Every greater element is a supremum, but converse is not. Converse is possible if and only if this that element is belonging to B itself. Similarly, every every list element is a infimum. Infimum. But converse again not converse is not true. Converse is not true. And converse is possible. That is B equal to infimum of B. B equal to infimum of B is list element. List element is and only. This B is belonging to Z B itself. Okay. For example, let us take one set. A B S set, which is a four set. It contains the elements one, two, three, four, up to so on ten, and division is a partial order defined on that set A. Now let us take one set B, which is equal to two and seven. Now we have to find out the upper and lower mods. As there is no element which divides both two and seven, which is from definition of upper mod. As division is a relation, then we have to find out one element which divides both the elements. But here there is no element which divides. Sorry, there is uh, for lower mod we have to find out an element which divides both two and seven, and one is the element. Which divides two and which divides seven also. Now, from the definition of lower bond, this one is a lower bond, but there is no element in this B which is divisible by two and seven. Therefore, there is no element belonging to this B which which is divisible by two and seven. Therefore, there is no so, sorry, there is no. Greatest element that is there is no upper bond. Up, for upper bond, we have to see whether this upper bond is belonging to A. As it is not a B, there it is not this infimum, this supremum. But there is no element in A also which is divisible by both two and seven. Therefore, the given set has lower bond one, but it has no upper bond. Okay, but if we take C, which is subset of A, which contains the elements one, two, and three. If we take one, two, three, and three, one relation is a division. Then there is one element six belonging to A, which is a divisible by all the three elements, and is only the upper bond. Then it is the least upper bond. And there is one element one belonging to A, and which is also B, and that is the only element which divides. These three elements. Then, by the definition of lower bond, it is the lower bond, and it is only the infimum. Okay. Thank you for watching the lecture.